Hi there. In today's video, I'm going to share with you why having a terms and condition and privacy policy on your website are so important. And I'm also going to show you how quickly and easily you can add them to your Squarespace website. Before we dive in, let me introduce myself. I'm Meg. I'm a yoga and meditation teacher turned Squarespace web designer for wellness pros, and I'm also the founder of Floating Lotus Design. My goal is to provide you with resources to help you elevate your website and your business without any tech overwhelm. Let's dive in. So why is having terms and conditions or terms of use and a privacy policy on your website so important? A quick disclaimer here, I'm not an attorney, so this should not be considered legal advice. You should always consult with a legal professional in your jurisdiction to ensure that you follow the appropriate legal requirements for your business situation. All right, that aside, let's dive in. First, let me start by saying that these two policies are not necessarily required legally. It really depends on where you live. The laws can vary a lot within the United States, across the states here in the US, and depending where you live. And also, the requirements can vary greatly around the world as well. So again, should always consult with your, your local professionals to make sure you're covered legally. But these two are best practices and are very important for a variety of reasons, which I'll explain. So terms of use or terms and conditions. This policy is needed to be clearly linked on your site. And by doing so, it offers protection for you and your potential customers on your website because it lays out the terms of use or the conditions for interacting with you and your website. Now, while it may not be legally required in some cases, it's a very important policy to have, so I highly recommend it. You can get templates for these, or you can work with your own lawyer to create one, and they're pretty straightforward. Now, privacy policy. Privacy policies are really important and are often a legal requirement to have on your website. Hello, California. But here's an example of why these are important. Now, if you're collecting any information from people on your website, whether that may be email addresses, credit card information, anything that's considered personal information, you need to have a privacy policy. This policy will clearly spell out how you handle and deal with that information. You want to be transparent about this. Now also, and a lot of people don't know this, but some third parties that you're working with, such as software that you use to book appointments or host classes or use for analytics like Google, or you know even an online storefront, they may have a requirement within their terms of use with you that you have a privacy policy on your website describing how you use that information and how you interact with them. So it's really important you make sure when you're reading the terms of use, when you're signing up with using that software, whether or not they require you to have a privacy policy on your website. So go back and check. So it's a really good idea to make sure that you are covered by a terms of use, an agreement, and a privacy policy. Even if they're not legally required, I think it's a great best practice because it protects you and it also protects your customers, your potential customers. And also, I think, allows you to show that you are a serious business owner, that you take these things seriously. And I think it ups the level of professionalism and trust that people will have in you. Again, just my opinion, but something to think about. Now, in the long run, it doesn't hurt you to have these policies, and it can really help establish some good rapport and good, clear definitions on your website right up front. And I can also think it's a lot cheaper to just get these things set up and get them on your website ahead of time, as opposed to never doing it and gambling, if you will, that someday somebody is not going to take issue with it and, you know, cause you a lot of problems. So cover your bases, sleep well at night, get them done, get them out there, and uh, you don't have to worry about it. Before we move on, one other policy I hadn't mentioned earlier, but something you might want to consider when consulting with your local legal professionals is whether or not, depending on the type of business you're in, whether or not you need another type of disclaimer policy somewhere on your website, whether that be for health reasons or anything like that, you may want to look into a disclaimer as well and investigate whether that's something that you might be well served on having on your website as well. 
Okay. And again, not an attorney. So as always, consult with a local professional if you have questions about what you should be doing or what you're required by law to be doing with your website. Now, that said, a little bit of a plug here. If you're interested in DIY legal templates, I have an affiliate link, full disclosure, to an excellent resource for DIY legal templates. Her name is Lisa Fraley, and she is a lawyer who specializes in working with holistic professionals. Her DIY legal templates are written in plain English. They come with really thorough and easy to understand instructions, and they're specifically created for folks in the wellness businesses. I've used them myself. They're a great investment a great value, and I do highly recommend them. So you can click on the link down on my description to go and check out her entire template site and see what they have she has to offer. And if you do choose to buy one, I may get a small commission. But also I want to note that in addition to her template shop, she has a lot of great resources available to you on her site. So she has great blog articles, she has a podcast, and you also have the ability to book a 20 minutes, I think it's 20 minutes, but you do had to, at least at the time of the recording of this video, the ability to be able to reach out in a short consult, free call with them to ask them questions, to get some guidance as well. So great resources, really lovely human being who really cares about what you do and understands what you do in a wellness business. So highly recommend that off my soapbox. <laughs> okay, so enough about that. Let's get down to once you've got these legal policies, how you can quickly add them to your Squarespace website. Let's hop over to my site and I'll give you a tour on how to do it. All right, so let me show you how quick and easy it is to add your terms and conditions or a privacy policy to your website. So I'm just here in my demo site. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over here to your navigation, I'm gonna hit pages and that's gonna expand. And I wanna go down to not linked and click the plus plus button. You don't want to do main navigation because these are the things that are going to show up in the main navigation of your website. So just remember to add it into a not linked and then it's going to give me some options. So let's go to page layouts and if you look down here we have terms of service and privacy policy as options. So let's just click on that and you'll see it gives you some great options some simple text, some offset and columns, some with an image, really simple, straightforward. So all you have to do is select one of those templates. It's gonna add a page. Now I'm just going to say privacy policy test page. And you've got a page already set up. Then all you have to do once you have your policy is just head on over here you hit edit you'd come in here you'd select all this text delete it out and copy and paste in the text of your privacy policy one of the things i would note to add and you can add that under here in the title or you know you can add separate text under here or just somewhere in here you want to add in i recommend last updated date so that you can you know, if you do make updates and it's consistent, you can show when that last time you updated it was. So once you've done that, you hit save, you come back, and that'll all be updated for you. You need to do the same thing. If we want to do hey, terms and terms of service, do the same thing. Again, you'll see it's almost exactly the same. Just for fun here, we'll pick this one slightly different layout and you know like I said you can change this layout once you're in here now hit test so that's all you have to do there again you'd hit edit copy in the text of your terms of service a couple notes on settings so you want to make sure the page is enabled you've got your general title and stuff like that one of the things here is that if you do not want this these pages in your in search results so to be able to show up on google and whatnot just be sure to make sure on each page that you go into the seo settings and toggle hide page from search results and that's all you have to do there save and you're all set so now they exist they're in the back end what you want to do is go back to your home page well 
any page really. <laughs> You're going to come down to your footer. Now, you'll see my footer here, I have a placeholder already. There's just not linked where I have terms and conditions and privacy policy. So I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to come down and edit footer. So I'm going to go into that. It's just a text box where I've listed the terms here. And I'm going to highlight, whoops, not drag, highlight. Being fussy with me. There we go. I'm going to highlight terms and conditions. And I'm, you'll notice it popped up this editor. I'm going to hit link. I'm going to click on this settings wheel. I'm going to go to page, click into search, and find my terms of service page. I'm going to hit save. Very important next step. See here it says remove or apply. You need to hit apply for it to take. You'll know it's worked because you now have this shaded and underlined. And by the same token, if you were to hit link here, it would allow you to hit remove if you ever wanted to change it. We'll do the same for privacy policy. And click link. Then you shall click link. There we go. And hit page, search, pick privacy policy, save, and apply. And then you're all set from there. You can then just go up, you can hit save, and then your terms and conditions and your privacy policy will be beautifully linked and easy to get to. Piece of cake. All right. I hope you found that information in that tutorial helpful. As always, I'm here to help you out in any way that I can. So make sure that you check out the description down below to grab that link for DIY legal templates if that's something that you are in need of and are interested in exploring further. And also, if you're early on in your whole website building journey and I'm not kind of sure where to go with it all, make sure to grab my free guide as well in the description. In that guide, I'll walk you through how to kind of plan out what you need and how to think about building a budget so that when you are looking at different platforms or whether you're looking at whether or not you should be doing a DIY or hiring a pro, this can set you up before you lay out a single penny to make sure that you know exactly what you need and how much you can spend to do it. Thanks again. And until next time, I'll see you soon.